Hello guys and welcome to this video. In today's video we are going to change something. So if we just pop over to my YouTube page, we'll click like that. Pause, oh my god. Stop. And we go over to the about section. You see this right here? Oh my god. Uh, this. So if you go into this link, so this is a pre-made uh, server for 1.12, which is, you know, old AF. And uh, you can see here that uh, that is the plugin server. Just uh, you usually just download this and uh, you're good to go. So uh, yeah, then you would just be able to just press download over here and you would get the file and you could run it. But as you know, 2019 we got a 1.13.2 update. So today's in today's video we are going to make a new pre-made server for you guys. So the link will be in the description and also on this about page right here, so you know, always can find it. Can find it. And oh my God, we are so close to hitting. 150,000 views total. That's like insane. I only, I only have 433 subscribers, but we are still growing. So let's get right into it. So first of all, we are going to create a new folder. Call it uh, whatever, but I'm just going to call it pre-made one point thirteen point two do that and then just open that because we're gonna need this. So now you can open your web browser, go on to the uh getbucket.org and then you can download the latest bigot version. So when this is done, I'm just going to put it in. You know, I'm just gonna cheat right here a little bit. Just uh, you know, go into my secret ship right here, which you cannot see. Uh, spigot. Yeah, and where is like the original one? Alrighty then, so now that I've cheated a little bit, just gonna try to, just gonna rename this real quick, and then uh, just open that up. Oh, there we go, it's starting now. Very nice. So, uh, as you know, gonna accept that Eola right there with uh, Notepad. Nope, I don't want to update it. Uh, and then you want to change it to true. Hit Control S or click up on this little icon here that says save and you're good to go. I don't want to update it. Run the file again. While it's doing that, we can create a new text document. 
and where you are going to need to get a link which I'm just gonna find yeah so basically this can be whatever uh, just when you open it and put in your text it should be something like this and let me just see so this needs to be exactly the same like this bit right here so uh, that's pretty good and now you just want to click on save save as and then name it whatever I'm just gonna name it run you change this uh, the save as type to all files and then you in the end type dot bat and then you press save and you can delete the original text document there we go. like that okay so now when you run it it will show something like this and as you can see I don't have the latest one because it, it's like oh no you're gonna wait 20 seconds because you don't have the newest one just stupid and but like that's the punishment you get for not having the latest one but I was sure I downloaded off the right page yeah so while that is loading that should be loading all good and yeah okay so it failed to bind the port that's because I'm already running something on that default port you don't have to do this um, if it's your first server ever uh, but I'm just gonna change this up to something different so the server port I'm just gonna change to the 65 to uh, 75 in the end so it should be able to run now so on Minecraft right here and as you can see we have a plugins folder that's where we are gonna put all the goodies in so uh, if I just type in essentials uh, I would or I should get a file somewhere which would be a jar file uh, can I get like uh, folders not that mm. couldn't get from there okay so all of that is actually than it should be. So if I do the local host, oh, yeah, okay. maybe I should wait a little bit. Yeah, it's creating. Uh, now it's now it's preparing the world. Okay. So while that is preparing, uh, we can go ahead and find some plugins. So essentials X, we need uh, Vault. We need. Oh, what else do we need? We need a plug man, so you could like run plugins without restarting the server. Um, we need. We need. Uh, X, permissions X. Um, I'm soon gonna be making a tutorial on a new plugin called uh, lock perms should be better it has a uh, web interface uh, what else do we need and we could use some uh, some uh, GUI shop just for the fun of it okay you could change to chess shop if you wanted to but then we need to download all these so this one you download from uh, Jenkins so you need the essentials x the essentials x chat like this is the core up here then you need the gyro uh, ip just fun and then you need uh, the spawn like that and then you need uh, vault and then you need uh, blockman just downloading all of them right now 
and you need GUI ship just for fun. So we can close all of these down while we're at it. And then we need to move all of these into our plugins folder. Essentials X, yeah. Right, I, oh, I got that. Okay, so it's the this one. Essentials core. There we go. Okay. So now that is done. This is also done, so we can, for the first time, direct connect to it. That didn't work. Okay, so maybe if we do. Wait, not that. Direct connect and then. The local host which we put so one five five seven five yours will be definitely okay so that worked and as you can see we are on this and i can just off myself real quick oh my god still more still more. like that okay so i can go in game mode because we don't have essential sets so we cannot do uh, GM1 for example so we can fly around but then we actually need to just stop the server because we need to put or restart it to get all these uh, plugins working so that is just this for now uh, you can put your own world in, worlds in here, so if you like change the name of the world, you need to go into, uh, like if you add your own world and you don't change it to world, like this specific up here, you can go into, uh, you can copy the title of the folder and go into uh, the server permission, or no, server properties, and then find where it says level name, uh, where is it? Level, 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 yeah, level name right there, and then just change it to the specific uh, name of the folder which you called your new world. So now that that is running, we can go ahead and direct connect again. So there we go. Okay, so you can see that if we do PL or plugin, we have permissions X, plugman, vault, GUI shop, and all the essentials goodies. So if I do so GUI wait, no, shop, I think, what is it for? Maybe it's just shop. Yeah, okay, so if you just do shop, you will get your uh, GUI shop. Uh, oh, we need a um, world editor as well. So, uh, fast async world edit. There we go. Just going down with this. That is the best version of world edit. Okay, so, wait, did I actually, okay, probably the right as well. Um, but now you can see this in action. So if I go ahead and put this into folder when it's done, you can see some cool stuff. Okay, uh, does that even want to download? <sighs> mm, Don't move it, okay. Fast async, okay. You cannot move from here, that's right. Okay. Oh my god. Fast. And then open file location. Drag right down. So my fast async is here, so I'm just gonna take the name of it 
uh, let's see, and then go into my world here and do plot and load, and then I'm just going to paste the name of it in. So there, as you can see, the click it in the down there, and you as you can see, world it has been loaded and enabled. So if I take my axe out. And I didn't even restart the server, that was the cool thing. So if I, for example, want to remove all these trees right here, I just do uh, pose one, and then go down here, and then do pose two, and then do slash slash set zero. I could also just like, so it's only some leaves and stuff, but I'm just gonna remove all in between right here. So as you can see, some of the trees were a little bit hurt in this, at least this one. Um, but it worked without even restarting the server. So that's the cool thing about Plotman. But this video is not about that. So that's actually it. I'm gonna quickly build like a small spawn right here um, so you have something to start in and I will see you when I've done that So as you can see, I just built something quick, not the most beautiful thing in the world, but like it has a pattern. So uh, I'm just gonna point the way the sun is right now, and just stand in the middle of this block, look where you want the players to be looking when they first join, and then do slash spawn, or I'm sorry, set spawn, like that. And if I do this and go ahead. And Kill myself. Like to do that, and I die. I will spawn right here in the center where I placed my spawn. So that's amazing, and that is it. You can like add all kinds of stuff. I have basically tutorials for all the stuff I have in this video. Uh, all the plugins that I've used, you can just go search on my channel and you will probably find a tutorial for it. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. And we are so close to hitting the 500 sub mark, and I will be giving away one free Minecraft account. A premium one, you can like it's it's yours. Um, we are gonna cr I'm gonna. Like, pay for it and you will create your own. So, uh, when we hit 500, I will set a giveaway for that. And this is going to go up on. Uh, the link will be in the description for the Dropbox where you can download this. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.